Hi and welcome back to another career clip. My name is Jörg, which is German for George, here at Find a Job in Germany in Berlin. In my last video, I had mentioned how there were up to 100,000 unfilled positions in Germany in tech and IT last year. Well, only a few days ago, German IT Business Association, Bitcom, published their latest report for 2022. And the numbers have risen again to 137,000, which is an increase by almost 40%. It may seem like a contradiction to you, Europe is currently facing a downturn and still the shortage of IT specialists has worsened. How can that be? Here are the reasons and what it all means for you if you are looking for a job in Germany in tech and IT. German companies currently lack 137,000 IT experts across all sectors. Cloud, DevOps, data engineers, software developers, you name it. And the number is even higher than in 2019 when before COVID hit, and I'm quoting Armin Berg, who is the president of Germany's leading IT business association, Bitcom, and he says, we're experiencing a structural shortage of skilled professionals on the German IT job market. And the shortage is becoming increasingly difficult for companies and will worsen dramatically in the coming years. How can that be? In a nutshell, Germany is undergoing a severe demographic change. Our highest birth rates were in the 1960s. And now these people are all retiring. They're leaving the job market. And that again means with lower birth rates over the past decades, significantly fewer young people with IT degrees in Germany have been joining the job market from within. Also, interest in studying computer science in Germany has fallen for the second year in a row. Last year, 72,000 students enrolled in bachelor degree programs, but only half of them actually graduate with a degree. Moreover, and this exacerbates the problem for many companies, German businesses are amidst their digital transformation. And that means they are migrating their legacy code to newer versions. They are migrating into clouds. They're trying to make internal processes, marketing, sales, more digital, all that. And because Germans are so much in love with paper, it's only happening now. So there is a shortage, while the need for digital transformation again is very high. According to Bitcom, currently only 8% of companies say that the supply of IT specialists is actually sufficient. And 70% expect that the shortage will worsen in the future. That is why last week, a dozen of Germany's top entrepreneurs sent a joint letter of appeal to the German government because they are afraid of falling behind on innovation. They're saying they rely on foreign talent. They want to hire more from abroad, but visa processes still take too long and that is compromising their businesses. Now, you may be wondering what that means for you. Let's look at how companies are trying to cope with the challenges. Well, what I have mentioned about the need for digital transformation also applies to HR processes and recruiting. Many of them are making application processes more digital and as easy as possible. 39% according to Bitcom now use online application tools, which was only 33% in 2021. 16% enable one-click applications, which was only 11% in 2021. And 13% use application apps, which was only 7% in 2021. Now you may be wondering, why is it only so few and why isn't it happening faster? Well, I'm sorry, but I can't answer that for you. But you can see that more and more companies are at least trying to become more and more visible. And that means more accessible to you. And it doesn't happen overnight. But when we talk about the most common networks and platforms, LinkedIn, StepStone, Indeed, Monster, and so on, you can expect more and more companies to actually publish their job descriptions there in the future with easier ways for you to get in touch. Furthermore, some of you may have been wondering how hiring actually works from abroad. Well, you'll be doing the interview process from home, which is why we stress it so much in our coaching program. You won't get to meet your colleagues and team members until you're actually here because the vast majority uses video conferencing tools already for the interview rounds at least. And trust me, they will check you for your tech skills as much as for your soft skills. Furthermore, with more companies opening up to the necessity of hiring globally, they will be having to open up towards hiring English speakers as well. You're gonna see the trend is going to keep increasing. I know it's only at a very small level and I wish it were more, but at least there is a clear trend here. 
Last, what you need now in order to approach these companies in a proper manner is a crystal clear resume with a clear focus and projects which you're able to describe in a way that German recruiters understand them in terms of size, in terms of relevance, technologies applied, and of course your contributions and achievements. Watch my 30 minute video training on how to find a job in Germany to find out more about this and also understand how we work here at the company and have helped many tech professionals like you find a job in Germany before. Talk soon.